Welcome to Tech Results Dharmaro. In this video, we are going to learn about let operator in Kusto. So, uses the let statement to set a variable name equal to an expression or a function or to create a view. So, that's a very powerful and very uh, helpful uh, operator. So, let's go ahead and experiment this uh, operator and see how it works in Kusto. So, I have this uh, table. I'm going to go ahead and create this table called the total sale. So, first of all, we will create some table here and just some data and then I will start working on let slowly. Now, first of all, uh, we can uh, declare a variable. So, if we we'll say let and this is my variable name and then I'm putting the value equal to Asia. So, you see right there, that's the first line I just uh, put. Uh, uh, declare a variable by you saying using a letter in other language you use a declare and uh, maybe some other keywords uh, as well here you are going to use a letter now if I execute only this part it's going to fail because you have to run as a whole so declaring a variable and then here we are using that variable in the query so you see right there we have declared the variable equal to Asia and the region that's where our query is returning us the records of now if you see here we have a region Asia and then country Pakistan and India and I can uh, also have cities here so Karachi is one of the city in Pakistan now what we can do we can declare multiple variables so here I said let war country Pakistan let war city Karachi and now I can use uh, these uh, two variables in my query so I'm saying so give me everything from total sale table where my country equal to the war country variable this guy and that is equal to Pakistan and city equal to war city that is equal to Karachi right there so I have to execute everything together and uh, this is going to return me only records of where uh, my country is Pakistan and city is Karachi now let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, how we can print uh, these variable values so you will say let the variable whatever the name provide the value that's your first uh, then we did the second one and then you can use the print uh, you will be using a string concat uh, function here uh, to concatenate the two variables uh. I also added the space between them uh. so I have a country and then I have space and then a uh, war city so let's do that and uh, it is has printed uh, Pakistan Karachi now let's go ahead and take a look uh, what uh, if we would like to do if uh, in this case uh, uh, we are uh, setting a variable here and then uh, uh, as a whole uh, query so see right there so we can uh, save the entire query results uh, into variable as well so we don't have to say very in this data set or in some of the other uh, languages you say in the type of the variable here you don't have to say that so I said let Asia region and then uh, wrote my query whatever the results I want to get uh, in, in this variable so let's run this query without setting the value to the variable and see what results we get and you can see that it has returned us uh, four records so it has a uh, uh, Chirag, Sukhdev, Sukhjit, Najaf and Alina that's sale person first name and now I can also have another variable where I said let Europe region equal to this uh, total sale Europe so I'm just uh, showing you the record I'm not setting the value as of now so see right there this is coming from uh, Europe and uh, Germany and France now if I can uh, run these both together what's gonna happen it's gonna save uh, uh, see right there there is no tabular expression statement found uh, so after that you have not used uh, these uh, variables uh. now once you have uh, saved uh, your uh, query results uh, into a variable uh, right here and here what you can do you can union these uh. so here I'm saying union with uh, source uh, table name uh. so it's gonna create a column with the table value name and then I'm unioning you see right there Asia region and Europe region uh. so that's the uh, the data set values is that, that I have saved in this variable I'm just union that um, so let's execute all together and now it should uh, work just fine uh. see right there this is a union argument one uh, that means that this is the the results coming from here and uh, if you remember that this is for Asia region right there then uh, we have a uh, uh, argument one 
these records are coming for Europe. So you can see right there. So you can save the result of your query into a variable and use later on in the other queries as well. Now let's talk about some function. You can also use let to create a function. So let full name. So I'm creating a function called full name that will take a first name as a string, last name as a string. So you see right there. That's then I what I did in the function. I just what I want to do with these very very variables. So I said string and cat and just uh, my full uh, name is and then use uh, this uh, whatever the value will be passed here that will be here and then provide some space here then uh, I have last name variable whatever right there so I am creating a function here and then I can use that function when I need it so here uh, if you see I'm using the function so I'm saying print full name that's my function and I'm providing first name right there and last name so it's gonna if I go ahead and print it, it's going to print my full name is uh, Amir Shahzad. So you can do that. See right there. So this is a great. Now we can also use this function in the queries. So see right here, I created this function again, same, um, uh, not a big deal. So it's let uh, full name equal to the first name, string type, last name, string type. So input uh, arguments as we pa pa pass as the first name and last name, and they should be string. Now inside the function, what I'm doing, I'm saying customer full name is colon space. Then I'm saying provided first name space, last name so that's the definition of my function and then uh, I'm uh, gonna write a query it says get me everything from total sale table project uh, that means only select first uh, sale person first name sale person last name then use the function right there so that's a full name function and uh, sorry that, that create a column and use the function here full name and uh, I'm providing sale person first name as a first name and sale person last name so passing two hip arguments so so let's go ahead and execute this together so it's going to create a third column of a full name right there and it says customer full name equal to this guy first value plus second value so it is uh, providing us so this is how you can use a letter and create a function definition and use in the query as well okay let's go to the next one here we are creating a view views are not uh, uh, they will return you table of data but they do not save the data like a table okay so what uh, we can create do we can create the views and then use them so let's uh, create a view we say let range 10 that's my view name equal to view and the parentheses close and open and here is uh, my definition of that view so I am saying range so I'm gonna just to select that part and execute. So in this, uh, I'm creating a range of uh, number numbers from one to 10. Now I'm creating another view total sale of Asia view. And uh, then what is uh, that equal to the this values? So this is uh, only four records that I'm passing. So I have two views here now. So I use letter to create those views. Now what I can do, I can uh, use that views and then uh, join them, union them, whatever I need to do that. So here, if you see that I'm using a total sale of Asia, that's the view. And then I'm saying join and saying kind inner. So I'm doing inner join with my range 10 view on ID from the left and then right. And that's the ID column as well. So see right there, so that's our right. Okay, and this is our left. Okay, so now we are all good here. Let's execute this and it is going to return us all the records of wherever they are matching or in a join. So you see that wherever the ID was matching, it is returning us. Now you see here, if I will go from range, uh, let's say I don't want to go range all the way. So let's just keep to number five, six or something. Okay, uh, two, six. Okay, now if I do that, what's going to happen? It's going to cut us. Uh, uh, the records and give us only where we have matching records at six, uh, five, and six. Um, so this query now we have range here, and the range is going from one to six. And when we run these guys, uh, as uh, you see that this is ID column. Okay, so this is uh, if I run here, so this is ID five and six. Uh, so that's the only one with that joined with the table uh, that we have, sorry view that we have here. So this is how you will be using a letter 
to uh, declare a variable, use it uh, for single value or table values. So then you will be using a uh, let uh, to create the functions and uh, then you will be using a uh, let to create the views and uh, use them in different queries. Um, I hope uh, this video will help uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.